what is going on guys and gals Roscoe Bassin here again I'm gonna try out these jigs I've been wanting to do this video with these jigs that Melissa Thomas sent me from her she has this company they they make jigs and uh, and some other stuff but I was really interested in their jigs and, and uh, they have really cool jigs so I went ahead and ordered some and, and they sent them to me and I told them you know what uh, one of these days I'll do a video so I think today I have a chance to do this video and hopefully we'll catch some fish on them. They're really nice jigs, and uh, their their jigs have a they put some deer hair on there, so you know different from all the other stuff you see out there on the market. So we'll give it a try. We'll see how they do. I'll show you guys. I got I got three of them, so you can see the different colors. And they actually rig them with uh, their own craws. I don't know if they make the craws. I'm not sure about that. I'll have to ask her. But they provide you with the craw already, so I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, like I said, we'll give those a try. And okay guys and you see here I have some of her jigs that she made for me so check these out you see right here the orange you can see that's the deer here this is your regular uh, plastic and that's a craw they provide you with like I said I don't know if it's theirs or if it's uh, made by another company I'll have to ask her, I'm not sure here's another one got the yellow deer here and this one's got that uh, chartreuse deer here so I like this one. I like that that combination right there. So, tell you what, let's give this one a try. You know, it's got a nice weird guard on there. Might trim it just a little bit, but uh, let's go ahead and give this one a try. Let's see. And also, guys, never leave home without it. Uncle Norm's bait buddy. There it is. Check it out. I'm gonna spray it with that. Yeah, I can see that. So, a couple of sprays. Good to go. There you go. There you go, Melissa. There's your fish on your jig. There you go. I'll leave her contact information below. You guys can order some of her jigs. There you go. Go see show. They work. There's a fish. Nice little fish. Sweet. Awesome. Probably that fish that was pulling that, uh, that other little spinner in my spinner. Right there, right on top of the mouth, right on that lip. Two for two. Jigs are working awesome, Melissa. Beautiful fish. Jig looking good. Like I say, uh, got that chartreuse deer hair, and the other color is like a green pumpkin. It's got that green pumpkin trailer, claw trailer. Awesome, these are working great. Two casts, two fish, can't beat that. Okay guys, real quick. So, I didn't cut the weed guard like I said I was. I just kind of left and see what happened. And so far it's hooked those fish really good, so I'm not worried about it. I spread it out a little bit. So, and I'll show you right now compared to the other ones. 
you'll see this one's kind of punched in. Usually you want to take your finger, spread them out a little bit. So there you go, weed guards kind of spread out right there. Um, one thing I am noticing when it's in the water, these claws, as soon as it hits, these claws stand up. The little uh, pinchers of the craw stand up. So like I said, I don't know if this is a specific craw they make. I'll have to ask her and I'll, I'll let you guys know. But good action, these claws move, stand up. I just missed that fish. So he didn't have it completely in his mouth, I don't think so. So I took it out of his mouth. Like I tell you, I put Uncle Norms on there. When that happens, put some more Uncle Norms on there. That'll help him clinch down, not let go of that, maybe even grab it a little bit better. I'm telling you guys, this stuff, if you haven't gotten yourself a bottle of this, get it. There's a number on here you can call. I'll leave the info, uh, the info down below also. But the guy on Facebook is called Norm Myers. Awesome guy, contact him, get you a bottle of this stuff. So let's spray that again. Get back out there. He's messing with it for a little bit. I tell you that Uncle Norms makes him commit even more. Another one, guys. Whoop. Nice, healthy little bass. Put him back. Ah, oh, he was right there. Missed him. He's right on that edge. Oh, another time. What a fish you know, this is what we think it is. Oh, nice. Not gonna believe it. Check it out. Whopper proper. Nice, I'll keep that definitely. Little, well, just a little, you know, mudded up from the water being in there, but clean it up really good. Good to go. Cool. Whopper proper, inline spinner. Hey, two fish, two lures, I'll take it. Oh, and there's a fish jumping. They were somewhere and uh, you know you're catching stuff like this or other people's line. I'm already getting all tangled up. Let's go ahead and uh, you know throw it away. You know don't don't leave it out here. You know people. I know these people didn't mean to because they got the lure caught. Or At the end, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this, throw it away. You know, it's not a big deal. So, we didn't mean to leave it around. and just got the lures cut, and the line got caught. So, just leave it here. Just that when I leave. All right, let's get back out there. I don't have much daylight left. There he is. Oh, come on, buddy. I guess I had a fray in there. <laughs> I just caught him just on time. There you go. Give me my jig, man. That was in there. Still got the jig. Nice fish. Look at that. Nice bass. Got some little chompers on you, man. Little skinny. He's skinny. Look at that. Very skinny. They're hungry, I guess, when they need to eat. 
Besides that, he's, you know, as you can say, he's healthy, but just skinny. All right, so he busted my line. Right at the end, right there, just before I probably had a little fray in there. So it, it's getting dark, guys. I don't know if you can still see, uh, you know, here in uh, Texas, it's just brutally hot, especially here in the Houston area. Humidity is crazy, so it's either you get out really early or you get out towards the end of the day. And and uh, like I said, I've been really busy. I had a little chance today, pretty much, pretty much an hour to get out and try to catch some fish on this awesome jig and it's been good four fish lost one right there at the edge that I hopefully you're able to see it and found two uh two lures so not a bad day for about an hour of fishing I'm gonna give it a few more casts see if we can get another one and show you guys another fish you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try a different jig I'm gonna try this uh this one it's got that you know nice orange color on there uncle norms don't forget all right guys and gals i think i'm gonna call it quits uh sun's going down and doesn't get too good on the gopro you probably can't even see that good right now hopefully you still can so uh not bad not bad you know uh for an hour's of fishing caught four fish lost one found a whopper plopper found an inline spinner not bad it's a good birthday in my book for me <laughs> So anyway guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, here's uh, Melissa's jig. It's called a uh, Thomas Custom Lures, I believe. Thomas Custom Lures. I'll put the link down below for the company. Uh, the name of the person is Melissa Thomas. And uh, she's the one I purchased these jigs from. The jigs from, uh, really good. Obviously you saw today in the video, they were good. I mean, an hour fishing, four fish. And uh, I tried that last one on right now, but we didn't catch anything. It was only a few casts. The main, the main producer was this one. It's got that chartreuse, like I said, deer hair. It's got your regular plastic, got your uh, brush guard, and it's that crawl. And I'll find out from her if they make these themselves or if they purchase them, but they come with the trailer crawl on them already, so that's pretty cool. I mean, when do you ever see a whole lot of companies put in their trailer crawl on there when you purchase a jig? So I thought that was cool, guys. I'll put the info down below. Uh, we use the Uncle Norm's Bait Buddy. Awesome stuff too, guys. I recommend this a lot. Norm's a really good guy. See if I can get this video out tonight. I really want to get it out tonight and, and don't like to keep you guys waiting a whole bunch. So more videos to come, guys. Uh, going to do more of those how-to videos. Next video is the double uni knot so you guys can, can learn that. Uh, I used a uni knot today, the one you saw. You see the video before this, uh, it's a how to tie a uni knot. So it's a knot I use 90, 95% of the time. So check that out. I appreciate all the support, guys. Go out there, catch some fish, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Take care. Okay, so I said I was done. I just had to get one last cast in. Hopefully y'all can see that. There's a fish. There's a jig that I didn't catch a fish on. Now I caught a fish on. So I was like, let me throw one more time. And I was sure enough, you know, caught the fish, but it still had battery. So there you go, guys. Awesome.